Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with my hair and experiment with redhead extensions. Now this is not an area that I really know anything about. I think because of having red hair, I've just never really bothered looking into hair extensions and things like that because I just sort of knew in my mind that they probably wouldn't work. <laughs> and the problem with red hair is that there's not just one shade of red hair. There are like just so many different shades of red hair. Um, so that can make it very tricky for companies to try and find a redhead shade. Some seem to have two auburn shades, which is quite good, but I picked out two things that I'm gonna try in this video. One is a fake fringe from Amazon, and the other is a fake ponytail. I have had fake extensions before actually from Amazon, and they just looked so fake that I just thought I wouldn't bother showing them in this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be a bit of fun. Let's transform this red hair into some extra long red hair. <laughs> So let me show you the selection I have actually first. This is the first <laughs> hair piece. This is from Amazon and I bought this at the start of lockdown when I was so tempted to get a fringe because I just wanted to see what it would look like on my face if I had a fringe. And the colour match for this one is not great. And then the second one is from Lula Bells and I've seen this on a girl called Jess Hunt on her Instagram and I'm just obsessed with her Instagram. She's just so gorgeous and she always wears extensions from this company and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go. It was only 20 pounds. So I thought that was quite good for a nice looking hair extension. I was really scared to open this because once you open it, you can't send it back. So we're not sending it back now, guys. <laughs> this color actually looks, whoa, it's static. <laughs> so yeah, first impressions, that is a pretty good color match for me. So I've just brushed through my hair and I'm going to put my hair up in a ponytail but I'm going to leave these bits down at the front and I'm going to take it reasonably high, probably about there. And then I like to put some hairspray in. This is the Tresemme 4 Hold. And I just put it all the way around and then using my Tangle Teaser I go in and smooth that out. And my hair's actually looking really nice and swishy today, but I used the Dyson Air Wrap yesterday on it with the curling tools, and that's given it a really nice bounce. So let's try putting this ponytail in. Oh my god, this is like so much hair, it's so heavy. Um, I'm just gonna. So I guess you just velcro this open and it has like a clip at the top and I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm literally so clueless about all of this stuff. I'm just going to put this pin in the top of my, by my ponytail. And then I just sweep it around. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take it out and put it up a bit higher because that is really heavy and it's like pulling down my have I done this right? So I'm going a bit higher on the ponytail. <laughs> right, let's try this again. <sighs> I'm just a little bit incapable when it comes to this sort of stuff. This is where I need a friend to help out. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a brush. Wow, so nice. Oh, look, and it's molting like my actual hair does. <laughs> In with the pin. I'm just gonna sort of pin this bit around as I go. See if that helps. Oh, it's falling out. Oh, how do I do this? <laughs> I'm having a hot flush. 
blush. <laughs> So it turns out the tricky bit is not matching the colour of the extension, it is putting the actual extension in. This is a lot of hair and I'm not going to lie, it's kind of a bit painful. <laughs> and now, why not? Let's give the fringe a go. Let's see what monstrosity this looks like. <laughs> okay, so this has three little comb things in it. So I kind of want the fringe to be about there. So. Ah, oh, I never used the front ones before. <gasps> so the thing I found annoying about this one is like it kind of has hair that goes too far to the side. Um, so I can try and twist it in with my hair maybe. I'm not sure how I feel about all of this. <laughs> oh, it's going to feel like I have no hair when I take all of this out. Does it look really bad from the back? <laughs> but actually, you know, now that my hair's up, this fringe doesn't look too bad for colour. Still not right, and I would not wear this out and about. Bringing back first year uni Rosie. <laughs> God, fringes are actually such a nightmare. There we go. There's, that is my little experiment with hair extensions. Ginger ones, to be precise. You know what? This might actually really help with my posture because it pulls my head back. <laughs> Posture. Let me know what you guys think. I obviously need a lot of practice with these hair extensions, putting them in, especially this ponytail because this is heavy. I just went downstairs to show mum because I found it very funny and I was showing her how great the colour match was and she was like, mm. and I didn't actually look at it in natural light. So this is my natural hair here. Obviously the fringe is not the right colour. Like it looks really green in this light it's very odd but i mean it was like four pounds five pounds something so i wasn't expecting perfect color match so yeah the ponytail is not as bad as the fringe for the color matching but it's still not that close <laughs> it's a bit too brownie blonde um for my natural hair i think this is my actual hair poking through here yeah and you can see the difference in shades. So yeah, I'm now going to switch back to the outro that I just filmed. But I just thought I would let you know because natural light can really show everything. I'll leave the links to the extensions down below if you are at all interested in any of these. I do really like the way this looks, the ponytail, but I think I obviously just need a lot of practice. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!